What's going on, everybody? Dogman Dan here. Okay, community hot topics for March 13th. You got it. I'm talking about it. I'm going to share the questions with you. I'm going to tell you my answers. And there will be a link below. Get yourselves over there. Get your votes counted. Get your comments done. You can leave comments here as well. I'll definitely share them. Um, but get over there. Cast your votes. Leave responses. This is how we make things better. Okay. Uh, let's start it off. Do you think two minutes is a fair amount of time to determine if a player is AFK? Yes and no. It kind of depends on the mission. I think, though, uh, it should be a little bit longer. Um, at, at the basic, it should be maybe three minutes, to be honest. But let's not extend it too far to the point where it becomes a useless setup. Uh, do you think AFK players should have their energy and or rewards restricted? I believe that both should be done. Um, but that's just my personal opinion. Especially if somebody is AFK and they've got controls set up to basically spam out the uh, ability while they're not there which is possible uh, in your opinion which frost abilities need a revision I personally went with freeze and ice wave though others may have some other thoughts on that it looks like freeze and avalanche seem to be the biggest two but I went with freeze and ice wave personally for my taste uh, how satisfied are you with frost overall Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with him. I think he needs to be better, and I think right now the way it looks is the community is everybody saying they're somewhat satisfied, but they're not 100%. So we're going to definitely be seeing some changes on Frosty. Uh, now, for PvP players, what do you think of Capture the Cephalon game mode so far? I can't give an opinion on this because I'm not playing in the Conclaves now. Uh, I'm going to check it out probably in Update 16 when they've re balanced it but uh, as of right now that's going to really be up to pvp players overall but it looks like the experience so far is that it looks great okay in your opinion how do sniper rifles compare to other weapon types overall well uh, obviously i'm running vectus right now on a tier 3 tower exterminate and i'm doing fine list but I've been practicing my skills but that regardless of that overall sniper rifles are weaker than other primary rifles in this game and sure I can one shot these things and I can do it on higher level enemies too but overall the sniper rifles while very strong they're not the best playable thing in this game and they do need some adjustments to them and that's how I kind of voted for it uh, how frequently do you use sniper rifles? I use them pretty frequently, but then again, I use every weapon pretty frequently. So, you know, that is uh, that is what it is. Uh, and then finally, what would you like to see? More sniper rifles added to the uh, Warframe arsenal? And yes, seems to be the overall uh, from the community so far. Yes, releasing more sniper rifles, but they need to make some adjustments and some balancings to it before they really become that great of a weapon um, and possibly maybe some game modes that would really work well for sniping but nonetheless comments questions below please definitely get over there link in the description get over to the community forum leave your votes leave your comments get involved I'll catch you guys next time if you want to see this full run just let me know as well and I will make a video giving you the full run on this Tower 3 with my Vectus, Hudless, and my Nova Prime. Until next time, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.